Hi, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. This week's project, I'm going to turn uh, the cat in the hats top hat. Uh, this is for hashtag top hat week from SK Crafts. Uh, Steve puts out a challenge every few weeks and uh, different people submit the pictures of what they've made into them and he does a, a whole montage of, uh, of everyone's work at the end of it. And I'm going to leave a link to Steve's channel in the description if you want to check him out. Um, so I've been wanting to do some off center turning for a while and uh, I haven't ever tried it and so this one is kind of me fumbling my way through uh, an off center turning with an end goal in mind. So not going to be much instruction in this. You'll see I kind of start a few things and change my mind and go different avenues as, as I go along here but uh, again not being 100% sure of how I was going to go about this you'll see uh, you'll see some things that don't look like they make much sense. But in the end, it seemed to turn out okay. And this stock is just a piece of laminated yellow birch. It's uh, two and three quarters square by about eight inches long. And I certainly don't need all of it to do what I'm going to do. And I apologize to the people who like to listen to the lathe noise when I turn. Um, there was just too much background noise going on in the shop, and I was not able to keep that sound. It just wasn't going to work for a video. So again, apologize for that. And I hope you enjoy this. It's just kind of a, you get to see lots of my firsts here and uh, watch me fumble through things. But um, this was a fun one to do. Uh, not very practical, but lots of fun. So I'm just going to move the position of the tail saw, or the wood in the tail stock, and I'm going to do this uh, two different times. So I went about probably three eighths of an inch, I would guess, this first time, and I probably went three eighths of an inch more in the second one. So now this was turned on center and then in two increments, and you can see that it's no longer uh, in center. So now I'm going to move the piece back to center so that I can clean up those tool lines above where the brim of the hat's going to be. You can see there's a, some pretty rough tool lines there that I need to clean back up. And I need to make that diameter a little bit smaller as well. It's a little too big. All right, so I stopped to check this out and see how the, the cuts on the different planes were blending together, and it's actually not terrible. So uh, i got a little bit more cleaning up to do on the base.
Here I'm just moving it to the farthest off center axis so that I can clean that shoulder off. Um, I tried to start sanding this and it's just I'm up against the the shoulder there and I can't get a good sand on the top part of the, where the hat's going to be. So I'm just going to cut that back out of my way and then I'll go back to sanding again. So I did my sanding at this axis and then with it centered up. So I used two to three axis to sand. So now I've got this part sanded up to 240 grit and I'm just trying to decide where I'm going to part this off and figure out how it's going to actually look when I do part it off. Um, so I start out with just a 1 16th inch parting tool. I realized that I wanted to have a little bit more of a, a dome top on the top of this hat. So I got my skew back out, which usually when I get my skew out at this stage in a project, bad things happen. But uh, it did give me a nice, nice clean cut around the edge. And uh, you see, I'm just taking little bites here because I don't have much clearance at the top. All right, so after a little bit of a struggle there trying to figure out what angle I want to get this cut off at and get a good clean cut, um, it actually did turn out nice and clean. So I'm just going to do a little bit of sanding with the green here, and then I'm going to trim up the brim. So I got to turn it around now so that I can finish off the bottom of the brim and hollow out a little bit of the inside of the hat itself. And this view just seems to show a little better how, how much the offset is. So I was pretty happy with that. And the trick at that step was just to make sure that I got a good clean cut all the way around the top of the hat, but left enough material there so that it would be stable enough to turn the bottom off.
I'm going to put some pictures up here at the end, and um, between the time that you see this come off the lathe and the pictures, I actually asked my dad if he would uh, give it a little cat in the hat paint job, and uh, did a good job. It kind of fits the fits the theme of the hat, so thanks for painting that up for me, Dad. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks again to everyone who subscribes to the channel and watches the videos. I appreciate that a ton as well. If you like what you saw and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And uh, do feel free to leave a comment or a thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on how you felt about the video. We'll see you next time.